I am here tonight to present a sneak peek to a British audience of our new film, Girl Rising. The real inspiration in the way we've told it using the stories of nine particular girls really is a way to capture the core idea of the film that one girl with courage is a revolution. I'm here to take part in a planned talk to share some of my experiences in education but also my journey into understanding why education is so important for everybody. Education is important for young girls in particular because it's their route to every opportunity they're going to face in their life. It is uh, not just a film that you go to cinema and watch and have a feeling about it. You go home with uh, a feeling that I want to do something more. Although there were points that you felt you really couldn't believe that girls had to endure that type of life, I felt by the end there was a positive message from the film. It's beautiful storytelling and it definitely touches your heart. Seeing how those communities are represented by the individual girls in the film leaves one with a feeling of, uh, of, of hope rather than despair or because they believe that there is a future and they believe that there is hope. Plan UK has been very involved in Girl Rising. The point of this film and the event isn't you know, just to have a nice time and to show a powerful film that's great in itself, but it really is that, that we believe that from this event we will get people to act. The connection between Girl Rising and Plan is clear. They've got the facts and data, and we've got the living, breathing stories that will inspire people to make change. You know, no amount of facts and figures and statistics actually changes people's hearts. You need it to happen at an emotional level. It's identification. It's, well, if I were that girl, or if that girl was my daughter, if that girl was my granddaughter, what would I feel? And that's what I think Girl Rising does. Malala Yousafzai became renowned for demanding girls be given the right to education. Girls like Malala and her friends, who were harmed so badly in Pakistan just for standing up for their own rights to go to school, need to know that they're safe to go to school before they can even put one foot into the classroom. We have to call on country leaders and the international institutions to make sure that what's happening on the ground gives those girls their safety.